Hello everyone. Uh, today I will be doing a tutorial on creating a macOS application. You will be able to input a text in the application, and you will be able to encrypt or decrypt the text. So you can here input either a plain text or a cipher text. Let's say you want to encrypt using the AES algorithm, then. In this table, we can uh, see the plain text here and the cipher text and the algorithm used. So I can also decrypt this. If I paste it here and I use the same algorithm, I can decrypt. So it's added here. This was the cipher text and this was the decryption of it. Open up Xcode and create a new project. We want to select macOS, Coco app, and save it on the desktop and create. I've already created it. Delete the existing view controller file that already exists and create a new one. Create a new Coco class of type uh, subclass of MS view controller and call it whatever you want. In this case, I call it main view controller. In the main storyboard, make sure that the view controller has the uh, main view controller class. So uh, we want to first uh, create the elements of the view controller. So in the view load method, we have a setup view method. I'm creating a text view. So we set up the constraints, the top constraint and the leading constraint is 8 also and the trailing constraint as well set a placeholder then we have a combo box ok so let's check out the text views that we have at the moment and here uh, I put the uh, I define the text field in the in, uh, here and as text field text field ok so that we can access it from multiple places so this is what the text field will look like and then we will create the combo box which is basically also like similar to the text field now here I set it to be not editable and we can select uh, basically you can select from it it's like a UI picker in iOS so we create the combo box we give it a top constraint leading and trailing constraint as well with 8 pixels each and uh, so here we have to set uses data source and then set delegate and data source and we have to set the uh, editable to no so that the user can't input any information in the uh, combo box now for the combo box we uh, define an array here algorithm array and we give it whatever you want as input here we have for example aes rsa we have two uh, data source methods the number of items in the combo box which is the algorithm array.count and the object value for item at index path which is the algorithm array at index the encrypt button which is this button uh, we set its top constraint leading constraint and the height constraint the height is 40 give it a title to be encrypt in this case set target and set action to encrypt button then the decrypt button the top constraint is 8 also the leading constraint is with the encrypt button which is also 8 the height constraint is 40 the training constraint is minus 8 with self.view and finally we set a width constraint of the decrypt button is equal to the width of the encrypt button so this way it uh, automatically calculates its own uh, width so that they are both equal we also give it a title and a target and an action which is the decrypt button here we will be adding an object whenever we decrypt and we will be reloading the table view now we, we add a scroll view which is basically the table view here the scroll view will have a top constraint with the encryption button to be 0 leading and trailing constraints to be 0 with the set.view and the bottom constraint with set.view to be 0 and then we add the table view so we add the table view to the scroll view in this case so all the other UI elements were added to self.view 
including the scroll view is added to standard view except for the table view we added to the scroll view we give it a top and leading constraint only we set the delegate to self data source to self we can uh, use alternating row background colors so we have alternating background colors the black color this is for the grid here and set uses automatic row height so this is for automatic row height in case I wanted the uh, rows to change their height dynamically instead of uh, giving it a specific height for each row finally we add the columns so here we have three columns the plain text column the cipher column and the algorithm column we set their titles and we add them to the table view so we have three columns the plain text cipher text and algorithm and finally and this is the an important step we have to set document view for the scroll view we still need to talk about the data source and delegate methods of the uh, table view so number of rows in the table view is the main object array dot count the view for table column would be the following so we get the main object for each row we say main object equals to main object array at row in this case i created my own main view here it's a subclass of ns view if it doesn't exist then we allocate it we set its identifier and we set it up there's a method inside main view where it is set up basically it's only composed of a text field here and the other method is the update view where we only give pass a string and we set the string value of the text field we set both of these methods in the header file of the main view we import it here so that we can use it we get it here using the make view with identifier if it is not already uh, allocated we allocate it set the identifier and set set up the view okay so the three cells are basically the same we can have three different views for each uh, for each column however i made it so that the three are the same we're, we're using the same view that uh, we update the view with the text with the string using the main object the main object has three properties here the plain text cipher text and algorithm so for the first if the table column corresponds to the first table column here the first table column we already we already know it's the plain text column so we set the text field string value to be main object of plain text for the second table column which we know is the cipher text <coughs> column we set it to be the main object dot cipher text and for the third column we set it to be main object dot algorithm so whenever we click the encrypt button we uh, generate the cipher text using a certain method and we create a new main object we allocate it we set the plain text to be the text field dot text it's basically the text field here so if i click the encrypt button then this is a plain text if I click the decrypt button, then this would be a cipher text. And I set the cipher text to be the uh, resulting cipher text. And I set the algorithm, which is the combo box dot string value, whichever is selected here. If I select AES, then it would be AES. Finally, I add, add to the main object array, which is defined here under the algorithm array. Algorith algorithm array is already initialized in the beginning, it's just a array of static strings and the main object array is uh, allocated so initially and is empty so we just add the object to the array we insert it at index 0 instead of adding it so that each new object is added in the beginning of the list instead of at the end so after adding it we reload the table view when we reload the table view it uh, calls this method again so that updates the text field values inside the main view so now what remains is discussing the uh, crypto pp library which is being used here first we will talk about the uh, file here which is an ns object and i make it so that it is a shared instance using this code 
this method will handle a request so it takes as input a text which is the either the plain text or the cipher text the algorithm which is for example AES and whether it's going to be encryption or decryption and it's just a boolean so here in handle request method if the algorithm is AES then there is another method here that uh, takes as input the uh, plain or cipher text and the boolean whether it's encryption or decryption if the method has not been initialized yet then we initialize it and by initialize I mean we generate the keys for it so if the keys haven't been generated yet we generate them once uh, here we define the AES key the AES key by using the default key length if you check the crypto pp documentation you'll find that there are other key lengths and we can set the AES initial value here and this is the auto seeded random pool of AES so we uh, generate the key and the initial value so that it's used here uh, if it's encryption then we encrypt the plain text using the following code and if it's not encryption so decryption then we create the uh, we decrypt the ciphertext it's a ciphertext and we decrypt it using this code crypto pp aes here they, they provide detailed information about the aes algorithm implementation and an example encrypting and decrypting using AES so this is a block cipher and it's a symmetric algorithm whereas there's also RSA that can be used for uh, asymmetric uh, it's an asymmetric algorithm it uses two a public and a private key whereas here we're using only one key the library also has hashing algorithms like SHA-256 so finally I'm going to talk about how this library can be imported into uh, a macOS application. Instructions can be also found online. You can see here the GitHub project for CryptoPP. You can clone or download it. So after downloading the project You have to cd to the folder and so after that's done you have to do sudo make install if you open the file now and you search for lib libcryptopp.a this is the file that you basically need Okay, so now that you have the libcryptopp.a file, uh, you need to go to folder user slash local, create a folder and name it something. In this case, I called it cryptopp osx. Create two folders, one called lib and one called include. In lib, just drag and drop libcryptopp.a. And include you need to uh, open the crypto pp file and search for all the the header files basically you need to copy them and paste them in inside inside the include folder so create a crypto pp folder here and put all of the header files in here after that's done you can open up the Xcode project go to build settings and search for compile source and you have to select Objective-C++ search for search path search paths you have a header search paths and library search paths so you need to input user local crypto pp osx slash include here and the same slash lib here Search for other linker flags and set the following. After that's done, you will be able to 
include CryptoPV-AS the touch. In this case, I'm using AES, RSA, ECC, and SHA256. Sha and uh, that's it. Exactly the same concepts apply for iOS, however, different UI components can be used, such as UI picker view and UI table view and the uh, UI text field. However, the uh, creation of the CryptoPP library differs, and uh, detailed instructions can be found on the website. If you Google CryptoPP iOS command line. Detailed information can be found here on uh, compiling the library for an iOS application. And that's all. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.